For tonight on the desk alone for weather, so I'm going to get right into it. Here's our almanac for this day in history. It shows a normal high of zero degrees and a normal low of 17 below. The record high was set in 1984 at 39 degrees, and the record low, proving things always could be worse, was set in 1934 at 56 below. The sun rose this morning at 1034 a.m. and will set shortly after at 328 p.m. It gave us four hours and 54 minutes of daylight, a five-minute gain. Love saying that since yesterday. Here is our weather around the state today. Fort Yukon is mostly cloudy with up to 10 mile per hour winds. Barrow is overcast as is Nome. Both areas are seeing up to 30 mile per hour wind. Fairbanks is mostly cloudy today with a chance of that freezing rain everyone has been gossiping about. So be extra careful on roadways today and tomorrow. Same goes for Denali Park with a similar advisory and up to 25 mile per hour wind. Juno and Ketchikan are overcast today with snow showers. Bethel is overcast today as well with snow and up to 40 mile per hour wind. 45 mile per hour wind is moving across Cold Bay with overcast skies and a chance of rain. Rain is possible in Kodiak as well with up to 30 mile per hour wind. Anchorage is seeing freezing rain is seeing a freezing rain advisory today too, but with an aerial flood watch included. Homer and Valdez are seeing that same aerial flood watch with mostly cloudy skies for both areas. Down in the lower 48, Seattle is partly cloudy today with highs in the high 30s. Las Vegas is in an active, hard freezing rain advisory, which sounds awful with partly cloudy skies and highs in the low 40s for them. Denver is mostly cloudy today with a chance of snow, highs in the single digits. Mostly cloudy skies are projected for Minneapolis with highs in the low 20s. New Orleans is watching out for a flash flood warning that is currently in effect. They'll see that mixed with mostly cloudy skies and rain showers, highs in the high 70s. New York is in an active dense fog advisory with highs in the mid in the mid 40s and partly cloudy skies and Miami is looking up to partly cloudy skies as well highs in the low 80s back in Alaska tomorrow's forecast for up north calls for overcast skies in Fort Yukon and Nome with light wind in both areas Barrow is expected to see partly cloudy skies with up to 40 mile per hour wind the wind chill is going to make it feel around 35 below the interior is going to continue its freezing rain advisory with partly cloudy skies projected for Fairbanks and overcast skies in Healy. Healy could also see up to 25 mile per hour wind. Juno and Ketchikan are both expecting to see overcast skies. Juno is likely to see a chance of snow while Ketchikan could see a mixture of snow and rain. Overcast skies are projected in Bethel with snow and rain and up to 50 mile per hour winds. Cold Bay could see up to 45 mile per hour winds with mostly cloudy skies and rain. And Kodiak will be overcast as well with up to 35 mile per hour winds mixed with rain. Anchorage is expected to continue its freezing rain advisory with the interior. Homer and Valdez are expected to continue their advisories as well with a flash flood warning and overcast skies in both areas. And I've read that it isn't supposed to be that bad, but the freezing rain advisory does start to go into effect tonight. So please be careful on the roads and give yourself enough time to safely get wherever you might be going tonight. There will also be mostly cloudy skies and an overnight low of 12 degrees. And the advisory does continue into tomorrow afternoon with the possibility being the key word here of freezing rain, partly cloudy skies and a high of 32 degrees and overnight low of 16 degrees. Lastly, here is our extended forecast for the upcoming work week. We'll see 30 degrees on Monday and some snow, an overnight low of zero degrees, a high in the teens for Tuesday with a single digit negative for the low and fog. Wednesday will bring mostly cloudy skies and a single degree high, a double digit negative low, and we're expecting a single digit high for Thursday with a low of 11 below. And Friday will bring a single digit high with an overnight low of one degree. That's the forecast until I see you back here next Saturday.